Hi, and welcome to Style with Miss Victoria. I'm Victoria. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Today, short little one, but I'm gonna to talk to you about two pairs of shoes I bought. I got an ad uh, from Portland Leather the other day on my email uh, suggesting I buy their cool shoe. And I thought, I didn't even know Portland Leather made shoes. I've bought their bags before, but I went and I looked because they were on sale for $110. And I thought, oh, let's just see what they have. It's, you know, a chunky heeled loafer. And they are so cute. I mean, really cute. So I wanted to buy the black pair. They were sold out. So I ended up getting this burnt orange color, kind of a 70s brown, if you will. It's actually, they, it's called Patina. Instead, not, it's not under the Portland leather name, Patina. I got a size nine because I have a wide foot and I am between an eight and a half and a nine. And it's a penny loafer. So I have not put any pennies in yet, but I did receive them. I put them on. I love them. They're really cute. They are a little long, <laughs> as I suspected, but in a minute, I'm going to show them on. I love the big, chunky heel on these. They're kind of collegiate when I'm wearing them. And then, because we know how the internet works, somebody spying heard that I was buying some loafers on the internet and I started getting ads for hush puppy loafers of course so you know knowing that I just bought a pair of chunky heel loafers I had to go see what hush puppy had to offer because I like the hush puppy brand and lo and behold they also had some chunky heel loafers um a little less chunky a little more sleek but these colors Oh, there were so many fun colors to choose from. So I chose this great turquoise color. And once again, I got a size nine because I do have a wide foot and I'm between an eight and a half and a nine. I received these and they fit great, a little bit long, but I love them. I have worn both of them for at least four hours. First off, they, they wear best with trouser socks. I did wear them with some athletic socks. I looked frankly ridiculous. And I wore them with some hand knit socks. They were way too thick. So I put them on with trouser socks and they both fit really nice. I'm going to show them to you today and I'm just wearing joggers. I would not recommend wearing these with joggers. These are, look great with a pair of straight leg pants, wide leg pants, pair of jeans, anything like that. I'm not going to style them today, but you should see them in coming videos where I style them. The downside for me to these is they feel slightly more formal than my lifestyle. My lifestyle is a lot of sneakers and leggings and things like that. But if I need to look decent and presentable and slightly bookish, I think I'm all set. So let's take a look at these shoes side to side for a minute. And you'll see one is a much bigger shoe. These are both the same size, but if you look the Portland leather one, patina one, is just a bigger shoe altogether, much heavier. This is very light and sleek in comparison. The heel, the heel height is the same. And I think that's interesting because when I saw the Hush Puppies, I thought, oh, this is just a much smaller heel. But it's not. It's just that the heel, the rubber part that comes up, comes up high around the Portland leather. And it does like kind of Doc Martin stylish and this one doesn't. So this is a slightly more sophisticated. This is a little more hipster. Anyways, we're going to take a moment and you're going to, I'm going to come back and you're going to see them on my feet and I'll wear the first, I'll put on one pair, then the other, and then I'll have one of each. So you get an idea. I personally recommend both of them. This one was $110 on sale and this one was 65. So this one's a much more reasonable price. I think they're both great shoes. And we'll see you in a minute. So these are the turquoise hush puppies. As you can see, they're sleek, more refined. They're still a nice loafer. They're not a penny loafer, but I find them very comfortable, to be honest. Like these, I could probably walk around several hours and my feet wouldn't get sore at all. The heel is very flexible. They're very cute. Um, they feel a little long just because of the styling, but I like them. 
Now I'm going to put on the next pair. These are by Patina, the Portland leather shoe. These are pretty cool. I think they look neat. They look kind of stylish, chunky footed, um, penny loafer. I would say for walking around, the heel is firmer and I probably wouldn't want to wear these for a long trek through a city. Plus, because they're longer, my foot slides out of the back. That has nothing to do with the shoe itself. It's just me buying a bigger size to fit. I like them both. I think aesthetically, I like the Portland leather chunkier style. Comfort-wise, I think the turquoise hush puppies, just I, it's just a better shoe for me to wear, more comfortable. Now I'm gonna show you one of each on each foot. Okay, here we go, very classic. One brown, one blue. You can see they're very similar. They kind of both do the same job. If you have the money to spend and you want the clout, go for the Portland leather. I think they're a nice shoe. You can't go wrong. They're great. I think I really like the Hush Puppy brand. I find these blue shoes to be extremely comfortable. Maybe not as hip, maybe a little bit more of a classic style, but you could buy two pair of the Hush Puppy for the same price as buying one pair of the Portland leather. And they come in really seriously many, many colors. So I would recommend either pair. I think this is a great style of shoe to own. And I hope if you're in the mood for loafers, this helps you out. Thank you and I'll see you next time.